Hey everybody, this is a video for everybody who says that planaria are harmless. So, you can see them, they are little worms, and uh, they're not really a worm, but they are little creatures that have little triangular shaped heads. Now, what I want to show you uh, is that they, they can take a variety of colors, uh, and usually they're that pink or off-white color with a little uh, diamond shaped head now I'm gonna bring some more out now of of my turkey baster here that I got and show you guys the issue with these so if we hold it under the light you can see that is a bright neon red planaria and why is it bright neon red? You guys can probably guess, but it was munching on the shrimp in this tank. And it took down a full grown adult. And there are some in here that are also orange. Uh, when I hold them under the light, you'll see that they're orange. Well, it's the same exact orange as this poor female who was grazing at the top of the tank. And, uh, she had eggs well her eggs now are almost completely gone she's got maybe four five left and she I mean she lost them all she had a full set of eggs and they they stripped the eggs right off of her while she was just hanging out in there and now they're swimming away from her and uh, they also took down in the same night, this is overnight, they took down an adult cherry shrimp, uh, which is a bit unusual. They can do that, but, but they don't generally do that. And I've been kind of starving them of their, their normal food, and I think that's why uh, they've resorted to this. But some of them can get pretty darn big. Like this one here has to be close to an inch when it's fully stretched out. It's just... Um, I don't want it in the same tank as those other shrimp so I'm just showing it to you here but make no mistake get rid of these things if you see them in your tank they feed from the center of their belly uh, right in the center of their length and you can see the actual little dark spot where that in the center of them that is their stomach and they wrap around things and then twist like this one's doing right here where that dark dark spot is and they eat from the center of their body there and then they fill their entire body with whatever it is they ate basically and chemically digest it rather than in a stomach basically in their whole system so these are getting fed to guppies uh, is what's gonna happen to these. The bright ones, especially after they've eaten my shrimp, they stand out like a sore thumb, and so the hungry guppies will, will get at them. But I'm just rather bummed out, to say the least, uh, that they were able to take some of the, the reallys and strip this really pretty mother, orange Riley, or really, whatever you wanna call them, of her eggs. She's just kind of laying at the top on her side, and I know she's just grazing, but she looks really stunned. Like, she's not moving, she didn't respond and get out of the way like the other ones did. And in fact, I see there's one more that hasn't eaten yet, right next to her. See this? And I'm sucking them up with a, a with the turkey baster. But, in any case, um, oh, I didn't suck it up, I just knocked it into the water. But in any case what I was gonna say is that you can treat them chemically and you can cut back on food but the issue with cutting back on on food is sometimes it drives them to attack your shrimp look at her she's just she doesn't even want to she doesn't even want to defend herself against any of this prodding or anything so I think she's really traumatized I hope she makes it um, she looks fine and intact, but they ate all of the babies off of her, uh, except for whatever's left on her belly, which looks like maybe, man, maybe only three, four, 
Very sad. Very, very sad. Uh, she's a little Neo Caradina, really, or Riley, whatever you want to pronounce it as, but um, she will be avenged <laughs> because I have a Japanese product by the name of No Planaria, and what it is is it's betel nut extract, and betel nut extract will kill them all. It will kill any snail or nematode or little worm that's in the water. It will cause their cells to swell and not be able to osmoregulate and they will uh, either swell up or shrivel up depending on what their body responds with. So some some of the pests will actually uh, no longer be able to regulate their the intake of water. And yet, see, that's the one where they, they strip that one of the berries too. Just a total bummer. You can see like where the berries were and now she's just cleaning up her belly. And she'll be able to spawn again, but what a bummer. So they took out two two groups of babies basically in one night and it's only been four hours since I was in here last. I got up at four in the morning randomly and decided to come in here and check on them. So beware of planaria don't don't just say they're they're no big deal uh, a lot of youtubers say that and maybe they aren't in a big fish tank but i've seen them take down also little fry you know that are the size of like these little guppies here by the way look at that look at that paramecium culture i've got going in here put a piece of lettuce in the tank in this guppy tank and about three days later i've just got tons and tons of those little white speckles which are food for the babies uh, pretty crazy you can actually see there's like clouds of it anyhow I'll talk to you guys next time on the secret history living in your aquarium but planaria are no joke they will kill your baby shrimp your fry and they'll even kill your adult shrimp if you have enough of them so be careful